Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best budget film camera in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these budget film camera, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality budget film camera according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Canon AE-135M film camera. Let's kick off our list of best film cameras with the best used and affordable 35M cameras. One of the most widely circulated cameras, and most well known is the Canon AE-1. The classic camera was first introduced in 1976. It immediately became a hit with both consumers looking to make photography a hobby and professionals needing reliable cameras. The build is rigid and sturdy despite having plastic parts making buying the used cameras cheaper. Its electronically controlled shutter makes shutter priority shooting easy for beginner photographers. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Pentax Cone 1000 Manual Focus SLR Film Camera. The Pentax Cone 1000 is about as analog as analog photography gets. The reliable camera shoots completely on manual allowing you to adjust aperture, shutter speed, and focus shot to shot. Many believe that the Pentax Cone 1000 is one of the best cameras for beginner photographers because it is affordable and teaches you how to shoot completely on manual. Of course, this can be a deal breaker for some looking for a more easy shooting camera. The number three position is held by Olympus OM 135M film camera. Speaking of fully manual film cameras, let's add the Olympus OM 1 to our list of best film cameras. As one of the most commonly used cameras of the 1970s, these cameras are so reliable that they are still commonly used today. The build is entirely mechanical, making it more reliable over time. Uniquely, the shutter speed is controlled with a ring around the lens while the wheel on top of the body sets the I.O. The Olympus OM-1 is compact and relatively lightweight, making it a great film camera to bring anywhere. Next at number 4, we have Nikon F2 Photomic Film Camera. The Nikon F2 was a book into Nikon's production of all mechanical cameras. Like most fully mechanical cameras, the camera shoots only in manual mode. With a high shutter speed of 1 2000 and a detachable motor drive, the camera is a great buy for anyone looking to truly understand the tool of the craft. The number 5 position is held by Nikon Fem 2 SLR Manual Focus Film Camera. Sticking with Nikon cameras, let's look at the Nikon Fem 2. The camera is called a workhorse by many because of its notoriously long life. Its simple build of a mechanical shutter, lack of a battery, and high shutter speed of 1 4000 makes it a great camera for any scenario. Its reliability and ease of use has made it a popular camera among photojournalists, travelers, and professional photographers alike. The number 6 position is dominated by Nikon F6 AF 35M SLR film camera. The Nikon F6 is the 6th generation in the Nikon F series. In many ways, the F6 is a bridge between classic 35 and SLR cameras and newer DSLR cameras. The design and interface will be familiar to many digital shooters. It allows photographers to utilize aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual modes, not to mention 11-point AF system as well as three built and exposure meters. The Nikon F6 combines the complex functionality of a digital camera with the quality and characteristics of film photography. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Canon Apo slash Apo e-film camera. Made for the photographer who values a user-friendly design, the Canon Apo and Apo e are versatile and built with quality. Its most appealing function is an eye-controlled autofocus. The Apo and Apo e is the film grandfather to the Canon 5D series, with specs such as a top shutter speed of 1 slash 8000, decent built-in flash, and 16 adjustable custom features the Canon is a solid film camera with digital-like functionality, a must-have for any avid photographer. The number 8 position is held by Minolta X735M SLR. Of course, not everyone who picks up a film camera wants to fuss around with manual mode and learn the ins and outs of the exposure triangle. Some photographers, especially beginners, just want to get out and shoot. For these shooters, I'd recommend the Minolta X700. The X700 has automatic modes for both aperture and shutter speed allowing the camera to adjust based on the environment. 
When you do make the transition to manual mode, the camera can do that as well. Next at number 9, we have Canon Canon EQ L17GI. One of the most retro film cameras on this list is undoubtedly the Canon Canon EQ L17, originally released in 1965. The QL17 is as compact as it is retro. The camera is able to operate at shutter speed priority and boasts an EE, electric eye feature and viewfinder. The QL and QL17 stands for quick loading, referring to the camera's ability to quickly load film in the back of the camera. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Lomography Sprocket Rocket. Lomography Sprocket Rocket is a fantastic budget film camera that's as fun to shoot with as it is cheap. The world's first panoramic wide-angle 35M camera dedicated to shooting sprockets. The results are unique in that they capture through the dotted sprocket holes to pepper gun the stills with that retro look. The camera also has rewind knobs that allow users to shoot multiple exposures and blend panoramic images together for long frames on the 35M reel. Whether capturing a wide scene of a group of friends or an enormous vista, the one, three aspect ratio and wide angle third and focal length provide an eye-watering 106 degree field of view. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.